go. Hey guys, these things and welcome back to another One Piece Mountain Rush video. So in this video, yep, we are doing the tier list for season twenty. Was it twenty four or twenty five? Wait, 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 I can't remember. So yeah, um, this is gonna be the tier list, and I'll say that it's it's okay. Okay, season twenty five. So I wasn't expecting to put another new tier that fast, but. There it is, the characters are actually that good. Like, the difference is quite insane. And I'll explain very a little bit on why. So, okay. Um, the, for the top, the SSS tier, right? I wasn't sure whether to name it as SSS tier or Zack tier or God tier or anything. So let me know who, you, what you guys want to name it as. Like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe in the next tier list, we'll change it. So, okay. This... The SSS tier, these are pretty much the gods, I'll say, like, um, having them kind of, kind of, kind of, uh, change the game quite a bit, whether it is just, uh, their overwhelming strength, or is it just, they're too good, and, like, there's no way to stop them, like, you can be the attacker's way, defender's way, etc. So, okay, obviously, Blackbeard. This guy, super duper duper strong. Like, he with him and his ex, uh, he there's nothing wrong about his. his I'll say that like his whole kit is just too good. Then um very decent stats. Then um extreme no greater team boost, which is super duper duper good because it recovers of forty five percent of your HP. Which honestly speaking, oh my god. Okay, then the boost. Traits are also really good. Like, he, basically, their boost, his boost trait is better than the current defenders ones. Then, uh, skill one very 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 strong. Um, if you are a power user, bruh, you you get you you prepare to get wrecked, man. Then skill two is just you just not on, you not only can save yourself, but you can also use it to kill people and to knock people back. Very very good. So normal attacks wise, um. Not the best, but considering how the rest of his kits is really really decent, yeah, this guy is super beast. His traits, not to mention, imagine having extra about two to three traits that are also very good. Yeah, this guy, that's that's what this guy is. So very, just in short, a super strong character. Then next in the SSS tier will be Shanks. So Shanks. Some people might say that he might... Okay, one thing to take note for this tier list is there is no specific arrangement within how good they are and make sh and do take note that they even though they are all at the same tier, they might not be actually the same uh, like weightage. Like, it can be something like, how to say, both Ace and... Paramount Ace and Law, Green Law is in S plus tier, right? But the thing is, um, maybe maybe Ace is a little bit better than Sabo's eh, than Law, but Law is not that bad to drop to S, something like that. So, uh, just some things to take note of before you go away. Go go for that. And also, um, if you guys didn't know already, I'm doing a giveaway, and I'll be giving out three bonus rushes. If you already have them, I'll get it. I'll get something else that's worth the, that has the same worth. But, um, how to say, yeah, uh, do check out the video if you haven't already. Then hopefully it will help you during the anniversary because you need gems and, you know, gems are a little bit hard to come by. So, yep. Um, okay, back to what we were talking about. So, Shanks. This guy is an absolute monster. So, um, his skills, okay, his normal attacks is very, very strong. Like, the initial hit... Uh, you move towards the enemy and it starts really fast. I love it. I love his normal attacks. Like, it's really, really decent. Then, um, his attack stat, probably the highest attack stat in the game at the moment. Then, um, his Q1 counter super duper efficient. Like, uh, it can help you heal up, which is very good. You just need to know. It's just the thing is he... You need to understand the counter and you also need to counter right. So... 
that's kind of be the hard thing. Then skill 2 is just straightforward. You throw anywhere, right? Bro, if you don't hit anything, something is very wrong. Because the, the range of this thing and the area of effect of this skill is just absolutely insane. Then, he also have freaking good stat, uh, traits that lets him buff up. So I did some damage testing, 5 star Shanks versus 5 star Blackbeard. No, uh, Kaido. So, uh, without buff or anything, right? Shanks does barely does any damage to Kaido, but once he get that buffs up, man, holy, Kaido will just ho oh, oh my god, insane. So, yep, um, he is not that easy to play, but really, if you know how to play him, you play him right. I'll say that even Blackbeard will be scared of you. So okay, next is Dofi. So the reason why I put Dofi here, he. He's just the runner god, man. Like, other than that, he's. He's just. He's too good as a runner. There's literally nothing. Probably no other runner that can compete against him in terms of how he just gets past the opponent, etc. Like, he. The reason why he's in SSS tier is not because of how good he kills or how good he defends, it's because of how good he. Uh, disrupts the enemy line and how good he uh, caps flex etc so you guys already know how good he is also the thing is his skill one gives you uh it's like an additional dodge so let's say you fight a blackbeard so you go in you you waste your dodge thinking that he might use his skill one but don't worry you still have your your skill one left because it's like a saving tool and it comes at really pretty fast so this guy damn really really good then if you really need damage you can just use your skill 2 normal text wise very very strong like i love i love the first two hits of it the swipes have decent range and it's very very fast too um just it, all in all a super duper good character um not sure how long he will stay up there but he's uh he's not a very stable one so next is kaido um kaido some of you guys might be very surprised because of how like uh, you've seen like Shang Shred, Kaidos, etc. But one thing to take note of is um, a lot of people don't use... I personally feel they don't use Kaido properly. Like for me, Kaido, what you need to do is you need to go for full defense build. Reason being is and you need to make it so that when you want to engage a fight, make sure you have your buff up. Then, other than that, uh, if you don't have any buff up, play passively. So, this guy don't even need much attack. As you can see, my 5 star Kaido did absolutely insane damage and he tanked so much. Like, a lot of the skills, like, let's talk, I tried using, a, uh, how to say, a 5 star Kaido against a 6 star Blackbeard. And, bruh, his skill 1 only did 1k damage. Then the skill 2 did about can't remember how much but about 3 to 6k yeah somewhere there somewhere there so all these numbers are honestly quite insane because number one it's a 5 star Kaido imagine it's a 6 star Kaido with uh, max defense um, against that Blackbeard so yeah you guys start to see the picture and the thing is even when you build full defense right it's not like he don't shred. He still melts people, bro. Like, oh my god. So, just super duper duper strong character. Then, you just need to play him right. Then, okay. Next in SS tier. Okay, I'm just, I'll just try to uh, fast some of the characters. Because most of them are kind of um, okay. Then, okay. One thing to take note of is, in this season, with the introduction of Blackbeard and um, Shanks, one group of people really 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 uh, gets wrecked is attackers that are devil fruit users so characters such as katakuri um let's say what other characters um time skip luffy gear 4 luffy those attackers that have devil fruit with them they're gonna get wrecked because backbeard reduces 20 percent damage from attackers and as an extra defense traits then he also deals more damage to his skill one deals more damage to power users that's one thing 
Then Shanks, on the other hand, deals 30% more damage to attackers. So, bruh, they are having a hard time, man. So, um, one of Zoro, I'll say it's kind of not bad because, um, uh, Blackbeard can't really kill you with his skill one. Then, uh, skill two, you just need to watch out a bit. It's not impossible to, uh, defend against. Then, once the once you strip Blackbeard of these two abilities, he's just pretty much normal. So, okay. Next, um, Katakuri. Um, I would say that he, he he's in a rough spot. He's definitely going to drop very, very, uh, very soon. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know how disgust, how like, um, Shanks can rape Katakuri. But not saying it's, um, it's a bad thing, but yeah, you guys already understand the picture and how uh, Blackbeard can also shred Katakuri, so kind of, kind of sad. Then probably you will remove him to S plus somewhere, but other than that, I'll say that if you don't see any Blackbeard or Shanks in the battle, right, this guy will still freaking melt people. So yeah, then Big Mom, as you guys know, pretty standard. Uh, because she's not an attacker, she won't really get whacked super hard. She'll still, she'll not, uh, she'll still do okay damage to Blackbeard and she'll tank decently against Shanks. So, yep. Then, unless Shanks has boost, so that's one thing to take note of. Um, other characters to take note of is, I'll say, uh, blue characters such as Blue Sabo. So, uh, Jinbei also got a little bit of boost. So, Jinbei, Jinbei even though he's an attacker, he's more countered towards. Uh, he's more catered towards countering Blackbeard. So as you guys know, Jinbei skill one is the one with the vortex one. So, it does times two hundred percent more damage to uh power user, and he also has a trait that does ten percent more damage to power users. That's why he pretty much can shred Kaidos. So, eh, 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 no, no. He can pretty much shred um, Blackbeards, even though he has uh, damage reduction. But um, you will still get kind of get nearly destroyed by Shanks because of you, are, you being a, a attacker. But that's where I will say characters such as. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, characters such as Blue Sabo, slowly, slowly, he's back up. So, I put him in. S1 uh, last time but uh, because of how Blackbeard works and how uh, Shanks work, none of the thing that affects Blue Sabo because this one is not when he got Mera Mera no Mi so he's still a pretty standard uh, no power user blue defender and he's really good like he has the invincibility frame iframe uh, when he uses his Q1 uh, only thing downside is his how to say his cooldowns but other than that he's a really 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 good character so another character that i want to talk about is the um paramount war ace so this guy i feel he should be in ss um but he's he's just okay i, I do do want to put him to ss though like um he's really really good like his counter is so good and his normal attack is also actually very very strong because like when you use your counter his normal attacks kind of can fight against other normal attacks and he, the opponent will get staggered instead of you and yeah just on honestly pretty good character then yeah he's probably ss tier worthy if not for his skill 2 they are like skill 2 you like it's that is that easy to uh, see it unless the opponent use his dodge etc. So that that's kind of that. Then other than that, oh yeah, that's Marco. So Marco, I feel he's not as good as um, Ace, but he's a good runner. Obviously, like depending on the maps, he can like go to places much faster than how. If you just go by the normal way, so he's a really really good character. Skill two is very fast too, so you can cancel abilities with the skill two. It's just that um, against characters such as like you can't use it. Um, like it's not the best skill. Like 
how to say it does not a lot of damage um and it just knocks back opponent so anytime that you waste not killing an opponent um the opponent has a higher chance to get back his skill and when he gets his skill and he use it yeah you might you might be dead so okay then he's killing as in his skill one the really really good mobility doesn't come out as fast as we would want it to be unless your teammates are dropping like flies but that you don't really want that to happen so okay next i'll say is let's see so generally speaking if you are depending a lot of these characters are like you need to see because if you're dealing with a you are, if you want someone to deal with shanks you don't go for jinbei but if you want someone to deal with uh, Blackbeard, you can pick Jinbei. That's why it's very hard to put him, put them in like tier list because characters, other characters such as um, Green Zoro, uh, like none of them, none of the Blackbeard or Shanks affect him. So these guys are really, really slowly getting better because of how the meta shifts. Then I'll say even characters such as Gap, um. Yeah, he, he he doesn't get actually destroyed. I mean, he will still get destroyed if they are very, very strong. But um, because he's not that super affected by the attacker or power user, that's why he's still kind of okay. Not that bad. Yeah. Then uh, the new Luffy is another thing that I want to talk about. So I haven't played too much of him, but my opinions on him is... He's a very solid free character. Like he like his skill 2 comes up pretty fast. Like you can either use it to run away, like probably not the best idea, but uh because okay, the skill 2 doesn't do that much damage. It does like about um if you are at 6 star, you will do I don't know man. <laughs> you won't do insane damage. The is the skill 1 that's the one that does quite a lot of damage so skill 2 depend on how you can use it sadly he just doesn't go across the river or else he's just gonna be really really good but he's so cool give him some points for being cool man but other than that he's a very good character um normal attacks is not that bad the first hit jet pistol a little bit delayed but still very 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 strong then any other characters that is really good let's see yeah okay so this is the part 2 of the tier list for those characters that you guys were like wait wait where are they where are they so they are here then um honestly speaking they didn't really move much then because they just they just kind of there but i'll say that characters like you know 30 million luffy they're bound to get wrecked and yeah just just take note of it but other than that if they you don't see them in the match which can happen like currently the amount of blackbeard and shanks is quite a bit i'll say it's about 20 per 20 to 30 percent of your matches and also depending on the timing you go in so they can be really really good and yeah if you just meet them you're just unlucky so yeah i think honestly that's kind of that for this tier list uh once again let me know how you guys feel about this tier list um characters that i feel oh yeah kuma so kuma he dropped out so i feel like he needs a very good uh front line which if there's blackbeard is really really good because bruh with blackbeard you have to worry about one thing and if you don't take note you get destroyed by the kuma then really really strong character it's just once the opponent get gets that range on you right you are just essentially like a ace and you guys know about how blue ace when opponent gets very close to you usually it sound is your death ready so he can't really do that much against characters that are very very uh close range so to to them so that's why kuma i think he's not dead at the ss tier um he really really freaking do well at day stage Barati though like that bridge area is so annoying when there's a kuma that's like the only exception where he's the best he's probably like ss tier there so um honestly i think that's it for this tier list 
I don't wanna there's too many characters for me to go through one by one. You can check out my previous uh, my old tier lists so that we can talk a little you can if you wanna know a little bit more about the characters, then you can check out the character gameplays if you are very curious to see how they actually do. Um some of them are quite old already, so I'll find some day to like try to renew them. But um if you have any questions, definitely um comment down below. I'll try my best to explain to you guys what I feel like is going on then um, how I feel it will uh, is, is affected them in the meta so other than that let me know what you guys feel about the tier list whether you guys agree or not whether you guys like it's actually garbage or who you guys feel should be higher should be lower something like that like with so many characters right I can't like I can't oversee every single character's like placement so it could it will definitely be some uh there there will definitely be some uh weak links here and there so kind of that um other than that uh let me know what you guys feel then if you guys haven't entered the giveaway and want a chance to get uh the bonus rush it's good because it has extra training slot for a month um extra medal slot for a month and also you get five gem a day for 30 days which is 150 gems um for a month which is really 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 good deal then i think that's it for this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you